everyone. I'm Christina Dandar of The Potted Boxwood, and I am here with friend and interior designer, Gina Salmon, who recently moved from Atlanta to Dallas, and this is her beautiful home. So thank you for having us. Thank you. Welcome, everyone. And this is George. And this is George. We cannot forget, we have George the, what kind of dog is George? He's a sheep doodle. A sheep doodle. And he's two years old. Well, oh, tell us about this home, Gina. It's just lovely. Well, we moved here just literally a year ago um, and have painted every inch of it inside and out. Um, we looked at a lot of homes and um, this had the things that I wanted. It had the beautiful parquet floors, brick floors, beautiful natural light. Um, and so bought it and literally the next day started ripping things out and painting and now we are ready to enjoy it. Although my husband says now he wants to sell it. He wants to sell it. Oh my goodness. No, I can't see why. This is so lovely in this dining area just right here off the entryway is lovely. Tell us about this Thank room. Thank you. Um, this room was painted a different color, had um, upholstered walls that had literally a million staples. We, my husband and I took it all out and this is a TiVo wallpaper. It's a string cloth and um, it's just very serene and quiet and elegant and that's the look that I wanted and inviting. It's beautiful. Thank you. It's a great amount of texture and I love kind of your layers of um, just like layers of fabric and color. Those, Thank kind you. Of those golden mustard chairs are lovely. I love um, to kind of mix all different things. Those sconces I just bought, in fact, they're not even connected yet, so I can't turn them on. But I bought those here in Dallas at an estate sale um, and just thought that they would be perfect. They were two hundred dollars. So, oh my um, yeah. Gosh, well, that's an amazing find. This yes. dining table is beautiful too. I had that dining table a long time. It's actually I bought it in Virginia when we lived there. We've lived a lot of places. So, um, and I've accumulated a lot of things, as my husband would say. <laughs> I love the carpet underneath the. Thank you. The dining table as well. This is a great layout. This whole home. I love the clock too. Is that Thank a piece you. you've had for? That's a, long time? a piece that came from an estate sale here in Highland Park. Um, when I lived in Atlanta, I had it shipped to Atlanta. Had it worked? It actually does work. And it's we found out it's 17th century. Oh wow, that's amazing. So on down this way is a powder bath that we've just completely redone. Um, I designed all of the chip and down molding and it has mirror behind it. And it's a beautiful Brunswick wallpaper, which I love. Oh, I, this is so interesting. Kind of that, how you did the whole bottom handrail. It's, that's so neat. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. That's George, <laughs> that's George. he wants to play. That's all right. And that, what's so neat is how you did the mirroring there too. I want to make sure we can really see that on the side there. It's just so special. Real life, right? We've got dogs. Yeah, and we've got dogs, and he's about to get a piece of candy. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, so pretty. Thank you. All right, and what do we have in here? Um, a guest bedroom. It's sorry. Yeah. Um, this is. <clears throat> I thought it would eventually be my office, but my youngest daughter, who lives in LA, picked this bedroom. So this is her bedroom when she comes in. Um, it's very simple and nice and quiet. It's separate from the other part of the house, which I really like. Um, it's an old screen that I had purchased from Scott's Antique Market. Um, you'll notice that most of the things in my home are not brand new. I love to use antiques and older pieces and repurpose them. It's um, really lovely. What a pretty shade of pink Thank too. you, yes. I do love just all the layers and the wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. I I love wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and this this pattern is just perfect because it hides things. Yes. But also is soft. I mean, I wish you could feel it. Those watching kind of under. This under is foot. a start carpet. It's been around forever. Um, I didn't tell my husband I was putting it in everywhere, but it's just a classic. I mean, an animal print is a classic. It's like a little black dress. Um, 
I've never had carpet in a bedroom. I've always had hardwood. And um, I really like the fact of having um, the carpet. It's nice. That's the bathroom. Um, it's a Tebow wallpaper, um, which I love. It's just another classic. It's just a nice, you can use that wallpaper in any room. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. And so did you have to really redo all everything. of Everything, yes. Oh my gosh. Yes, everything. Um, unfortunately, the couple, the husband had passed away a few months before and um, I think just kind of let things go. Oh, no. So. So I made some mimosas for us to toast. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers yay. for a happy day. A happy, a happy day to tour. Yeah. I, this is probably one of my favorite places in the whole home. I mean, Thank every you. room is beautiful, but tell us what the kitchen could look like before, what you did to change things. So the kitchen obviously was not this color. Um, it was a dated 1980s kitchen. The area where I have the um, antique copy set, and it's, I think it's a, I don't even know what, it's some, oh, I don't, I'm not sure if it's Indian or Turkish, but it's a coffee maker, it's which amazing. I don't know how to use, but it, <laughs> but it does work. Um, that was where double ovens were and more cabinetry. So we had that all taken down, all new countertops, backsplash. I love how you did the backsplash, just continued the countertop all the way up. Yeah, I, I love that look also. Um, to me, when you start adding different tiles and all, it really just kind of takes away from the kitchen. I love to cook, love to bake. I mean, I cook and bake. Yes, tell us about these muffins yes. here. <laughs> um, last night I made us these banana crunch muffins that my neighbor across the street in Atlanta would beg me to make. Um, so we can have those a little bit later. I'm excited. That's an Ilve Italian range. Um, it's the ovens, I will warn people, the ovens are smaller than American ovens. Um, so you have to get used to it. But I, I love that. I didn't know if I'd want the pot filler, but I use it nonstop. Really? Nonstop. That's good to know. Yeah. That's good. I never know if the pot filler is just decorative. No, or... I use it all the time. I do have an emergency cutoff underneath the sink. Okay. Okay. Um, I wanted to add a little bit of texture in here besides all green, so that's why I added the little curtain underneath the sink. Um, I just liked that little touch, which follows the same fabric as on the um, shades and the on the chandelier. In the breakfast room there. Oh, and I, I, this is such an interesting kind of touch that you don't yeah. see that often, but adding the wallpaper kind of to the Yeah, it board. just kind of adds um, a little bit more motion to the space. Um, again, I love for homes that I'm working with with clients and even my own to feel inviting where you could come in, sit down anywhere, have a glass of wine, put your feet up. And I'll be honest, I've come over here, had a glass of wine and put my feet yeah. up several times. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, to me, that's a home. Um, your home shouldn't be stark. Um, and a all white home can have that same feeling also. It's very hard, but it's, um, it's something that you can do. I just love all your layers of fabric and texture Thank and you. I mean just even this detail here I don't know if we can see it but how this fabric picks up on kind of the fabric on the pillow just really and then it goes over to the chair it goes over to the chair yeah oh um, that's a sewn fabric I love that little happy fabric it's beautiful um, this rug I love these rugs they're um, off of Etsy they're like dirt cheap so I don't care if I have to um, replace it in a couple of years, but I like the way that they look. Um, people talk about high-low a lot. Um, I'm not necessarily a high-low designer, but I think when you see good design, it, it can be $20 or it could be $20,000. I agree. I think that um, good design is good design, really yes. no matter the price point. And then this, 
I just love how you continue the colorways and the greens and the blues. And we have to give a shout out to the floors here. Yeah. I mean, these were here already. Correct? They were. Okay. Um, they really did a fabulous job with this house. Um, sorry, I'm getting a couple of dog bones for George. Sorry for the we noise. Are, we understand for dog bones. Yeah. Um, so this just opens up to a side door. Um, and it's just a nice little area. Oh, this looks fabulous. Are we coming here after our mimosas? <laughs> I figured we could come this afternoon, yes. I love it. A little celebratory tour. Yeah. And obviously Spot. I love black and white awnings. I love the awnings. They're really beautiful. You can see those. Now, did you have those added on to the oh, house? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you yeah. come in here? Really, everything is so lush and layered. Thank you. And this is our mud room. Um, I had wanted a faucet like this, and when I ordered it, the designer that I am, when it comes to your own house, you don't really measure anything. It wouldn't fit underneath the cabinet. So we had to take the cabinet out, which I like the openness. I like it too. Yeah. I think that worked out well. Yeah. And then, I mean, just even the layers of fa uh, wallpaper Thank within you. that original nook I'm, that's original correct yes it's original i'm not sure what it was for um <laughs> but we have had an airedale george is a sheep and doodle so that's where i got those <laughs> so um and of course his dog biscuits i have the dog biscuits yep. Oh, this is just so, so charming. I love these thank you estate sale here in dallas um, I saw them, it was in a little lady's living room, and um, I said, okay, I know exactly where those are going. <laughs> Literally walked in, put two nails up, and boom, hung them up. Hopefully they're straight oh, and no. even. They're beautiful. Actually, they might not be too even. Well, you know, that's the thing. We, we're not looking for perfection, we're looking for beautiful, right? Uh, yes, yeah. But I, I do think your home is perfection. Oh, you're sweet. It's just very comfortable and livable and it's a type of design style that i feel well you have a breadth of design style you're working on a really modern project yes. right now yeah i i do all different styles um it's about what my clients want not necessarily what i want because i'm not going to be living there that's right um i obviously like more traditional but um i've done mid-century i've done mid-century contemporary all different this was all completely overgrown. Um, we took everything out since we had George. He had to pull up all the brick over in that area where the grass is and plant the grass. Um, and did all of the landscaping. This area, um, the way that the people had it before, came through the center doors and that's how I had this set up once and I think you were over here right and um, I sat there one day and went wait a minute we're wasting all this space so we moved it and of course my husband added the TV so there you go <laughs> ready for SEC out. football it worked out perfectly didn't yes it? oh this is so lovely thank you great outdoor area yeah except the mosquitoes are so bad right now well Welcome to Texas. Yes. I guess anywhere in the South, Florida, yes. everywhere. I think, um, it'll get a little bit better. It'll get better. Yeah. Okay, this. Tell us about this room because it's a big room. This room is twenty by twenty, um, and they had it set up where they had a sectional here and then face the fireplace. And um, I, one, I have a problem with chairs. Y'all might notice. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of a chair hoarder. Um, I just kind of looked at it and decided to divide it up. So the linen press has the TV in it. Um, I'll show oh, you. Oh yeah, let's see. Yeah, so okay. there's the TV and a dog toy. <laughs> um, because that dog toy drives us crazy. Um, and then we have the fireplace, which we have converted both um, to gas. And so you have two different seating areas. Um, you also have one kind of reading nook. Oh, we have to talk about this light, the famous yeah, Instagram the famous light. light. <laughs> yeah, which I have two of. Yeah, it's crazy, but I mean, solid brass. I love, yeah. 
you just touch it and yeah. it has three different yeah there you go yeah i mean 70 dollars you know um it was great uh i found this game table i do have a mahjong set but um it's pink, so I took it down <laughs> and did the chess set. Yeah, but I, I put plenty of monograms yes. together. Yes, I kept fun. this um, a really pretty white. I didn't really want to add a lot of color in here, even in the back of the bookcases, um, because I just liked it clean. You have a lot of color in other yeah. parts of the room. I do love the ceiling, though. Yeah. A lot of people have been asking me recently about what, what do you paint the color of the ceiling? Yes. And I love this kind of contrast. I'm not a fan of white ceilings. Um, if you ask any of my clients, they have that color somewhere in their house and <laughs> on the ceiling. It's the Palladium Blue, Benjamin Moore. Um, it's HC 144, oh, and wow. I do 50%. It's one of my favorite, favorite colors. It changes with the light, so sometimes it'll be a little bit more green, other times it'll be more blue, but it's a very serene color. Beautiful. Yeah. I'll be sure to share that for everyone. Yeah. And then tell us, oh, this is just a great little bar nut. Thank you. Was this originally yeah. a bar? This was a bar. Um, we just literally had it. Um, these walls are upholstered. And yes, I did add more upholstered walls after I took all of them down in the other rooms. <laughs> Um, this is a Brunswick fabric, it's an Oscar de la Renta, which I just love. It's stunning. And splurged on it. But original um, cabinetry, original marble, which I do love this marble. Um, and just kind of wanted to make it a little bit more masculine. That's beautiful. I just got that painting from the famous T. Boone Pickens oh, yes. estate sale. So, um, which I thought was kind of cool to have. So cool. I don't really know. I know he was famous and loved and hated, so who knows. <laughs> but I did the, also, I did the inside of the doors, the blue, oh. so that you can close it off and it's all white. That's so smart. And then you get a pop of blue when you open it. Uh, when you open it. Oh, that's lovely. What a fun bar area. Thank you. And just, again, I feel like you're very talented with taking what was already here. I mean, you really didn't have to do anything too structural. No, no, we didn't. Um, we were very fortunate that the house just kind of had a nice layout. No, it's a really, really special layout. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's interesting, different levels. Right, I think there's a lot of dimension in the house. Yeah. Which yeah. I think is special. I adore this room. Tell us about this guest room. Um, thank you. So it was going to be very different, and I found those two headboards um, um, at this auction. And just, I love chinoiserie, so obviously I had to buy them. And it ended up being twin beds. Um, They're just, my, these headboards are just. I know, they are pretty, pretty amazing. Um, so it was supposed to be a queen bed, and now Morgan, my oldest, when she stays, she can stay in a twin bed. Um, <laughs> That's <but> okay. <laughs> it's um, just really kind of uh, took on the, the design from the headboards. Well, they kind of were able to play off those colors. Tell us about the bathroom here. Well, the bathroom, the cabinetry is, you know, uh, was theirs. We just painted everything. New floor, new um, new countertops, new plumbing. Um, again, wallpaper. Uh, obviously, I like wallpaper and love Tebow wallpaper, which um, they were so kind to partner with me. Um, the hardware in here, the green is a depression glass, so it's very, very old. I've had it a very long time and finally got to use it. Um, and just, it's just kind of a different bedroom. I know that I've posted a few pictures on Instagram and I get comments of way too much. <laughs> um, and you it's know, your house. <laughs> yeah, it's to each his own. And I think when you see it in person, it's not quite it's, as too much. It's really not. Yeah. It's really not. Um, but in a photograph, it does. My fabulous wallpaper hanger. I have to point this out. I, I made this. him do the vent. So you can't even see the vent. Oh, that's so smart. Yeah. More people. I really, yeah. I, there's one thing I've noticed recently is how much 
people that have gotten creative with vents. Vents. Vent covers. Because they're so ugly. They're just so ugly. And now yeah. when I see a plain vent, I'm like, oof. I know. <laughs> I, I want to eventually replace all the vents in the house, but, you know, only so much right. you can do. Right, right. Um, and then this is our bedroom. Um, thus, obviously, again, I love chinoiserie. Um, I just love it. That screen, um, the neighbor down the street was getting rid of it and it was his parents and it came from china what? um and it's all gold leaf and i said what are you doing with that <laughs> and he said well nobody wants these anymore i said are you kidding me right <laughs> um so i bought it from him and have loved it yeah oh it's beautiful dude i mean that really that's your headboard yeah that's right. my headboard yeah um George. And it's different. Um, a lot. There's a lot of upholstery headboards. There's George. Yeah. Um, and I just kind of wanted something different. He wants to be in the. He really wants I to know. be the star. A, he wants to be the star. It's okay, don't George. you? You want to be the star. Yeah. And then that just takes us out to the backyard again. So um, and we've I've, got to talk about this, really. Yeah. This is beautiful. This chat. This armoire in here. This um, 18th century French, obviously, um, actually bought it here. Our house in Atlanta had eight and a half foot ceiling, so I didn't need a big piece, but I kept on trying to figure out what I would put there, and I already have one armoire in the kitchen. So my good friend, Anna Louise Wolf, I kept on asking her, do I need another one? Do I need another <laughs> one? And she said, you can't have too many. I'm like, that's right, that's right. So. Um, I purchased this here and it does have a TV and then it's has blankets and pillows and stuff like that. It's it's really just yeah. a stunning piece of furniture. Thank you. These white chairs you'll see in a lot of pictures of mine, they were my mom's. And when I was little we weren't allowed to sit in them. <gasps> oh. So it's still the original white crushed velvet. Oh my gosh. Um, in fact, Bob was sitting in it the other day. I said, what are you doing? You can't see those chairs. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're still off limits. Yeah, they're, they're still <laughs> off limits. Yeah. Oh a million goodness. years later. A million yeah. years later. Oh, this yeah. has been such a treat, but we're still not finished. We've got one of my other favorite rooms in your home, which is the den. Thank you. The office, I guess. Yeah. Um, it was supposed to be, it's the library, I guess, or Bob has now started using it as his office, which I know kind of irritated me, which is not nice. <laughs> um, but um, it was all stained wood. This color um, is this a takeoff from a ferro and ball color that I kind of tweaked. And um, it just, he did not want it painted, but you know, most men don't like painted wood. And once it was painted, he was like, oh, this is pretty. Um, it's really painful. so okay. it's just really nice and handsome. We just did the grass cloth behind those two bookcases. I love that detail. Thank you. I love um, that. and there's his um turntable and then our one BB gun. Um, <laughs> but it just kind of you know, design evolves. Um, it's supposed to take time to do a house. Right. And if it's all rushed together, yeah. you kind of can tell. <laughs> and this sofa has I bought in Atlanta at an ADAC cell. It's an old Pearson. Um, it was completely different. Um, but when I moved here, I loved the fact of having the wicker mm -hmm. in this kind of masculine room. And so this is Tebow mohair, so it wears like iron. Um, you can't ruin it. And so we just kind of started working around with that. It really adds it kind of like a little bit of an informality to yeah, the room, which, which I, love. I think is, is nice because then it's more approachable. Yeah. And then, I mean, just the details. You really don't skimp on your fabric details. No. Um, Fabric's huge here. It kind of makes it, I think. Um, the sofa George loves to lay on. Um, and even a zebra rug. You know, this is, you can't ruin it. It's an animal, so right, right. it doesn't, you know, it's not going to go anywhere. Oh, my goodness. What a beautiful, beautiful home. Thank you. And I, like I said, I've spent quite a few 
few cocktail hours yes. here at lunches, and I've loved every minute of it. Thank you. And just we're just so grateful thank that you, you would have us here. So thank you so thank much you for so everyone much, for joining. Everyone. And um, we're just so happy to have Gina in Dallas. Oh, so sweet. Thank yeah. you. Enjoy this tour, everyone, and I'll send links to certain things that we've talked about and yes. that that ceiling paint color because I know everyone's gonna want yes. that. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes. Bye. Bye.